Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I built this Python TK Inner custom control called Build List Control. Now imagine a control that prompts you to enter various group of things. Here you can see I have a group of US states, I have a group of NBA teams, and I have a group of movie actors. Notice here we got the actor family. Back to states, I can select an item. Notice I can do an update or a delete. We can come over here and say West Virginia and notice the update command. Or I can come in and say delete and make Texas go away. Pretty nice for a control. Are you interested in learning how to write this? Let's go. The source code for this video is available on my GitHub account. Follow the arrows to the folder build list CTRL. Open up that folder. There are the two files you'll need. Let us first look at main.py. Here we're going to import TK enter and the build list control. That's in a file called build list control.py. On line five, we have class my app. And then we're going to inherit tk.tk. .tk. Now this init function is a constructor for my app. And on line 7 super function init, that is a constructor for this inherit class. Then we're going to put self title. You can see YouTube build list control. And then we're going to build an object called tab control. And you can see here on lines 10, 11, and then on line 18, I'm going to add the first tab called USA States. You can see that right here. And then on 25, I'm going to add NBA teams. And then on line 32, I'm going to add movie actors. And here you can see each tab control had different colors. Through the constructor, I'm going to be setting the background color and the foreground. Let's dive into the build list control source code now. This object, the build list control component, is a TK inner class designed to compile a collection of items resulting in a list of strings. The init function, also known as the constructor, stores its parameter into self variables. You can see here how section title goes to a self dot section title. We assign entry labeled text into self dot entry labeled text. So we preserve these parameters that came through the constructor. Now, after we do all this assignment, we call create widgets. Create widgets, sending in self, that means I have access to all of these local variables. Now we're going to build a frame. I'm going to call it entry frame. And you can see that we are going to be using the background RGB. Then we've put that down to row zero. We're using the grid layout. Then we go in for the title. Notice the title, the parent, is going to be this frame that we just created. I'm going to get section text from the constructor. And then I'm going to set its background color and foreground color. Guess what? That will also be on row zero. Now we're going to be getting the entry label and the entry. Remember, these were also from my constructor, the label text. I'm going to set the background and the foreground, and that will be on row one. Now for the entry itself, to actually preserve the value, we need to set text variable. Notice here we're setting it to self.entryVar. I've defined that on line 38. That's also on line 1. On that same line, notice we have a list of buttons. Now we have an add button, a cancel button, an update button, and a delete button. Now the important thing to know is state management. At first, we're only showing you the add and the cancel. Then based on the state of the form, could we possibly show you the update and delete button? Now each button has a command parameter and notice command.add entry, cancel action, update entry, and delete entry. Those are functions defined below. We'll get to those in just a moment. The last thing that we need to look at is on a button, it is possible to hide it from the grid. So grid.remove just hides this button that's all it does. It doesn't actually remove it, it just hides it. And notice we have that on both the delete and update buttons. And then we have our list 
box control. Now it's important to understand this is for presentation only. So what we have is a list and that list is consumed inside of this list box. So we just display it here. We manage the content of what you see in that list box control behind the scenes. You can see here on line 62, when they double click on the list box, we're gonna load that entry into the entry control. That right there lays out the screen for us. And now we're gonna get into the individual functions. You can remember I talked about the command arguments on button add is add entry. So if you come down here, you can see add entry here on line 67. Now remember that entry box had a special field associated with it. And you can see that here on line 38, we say self.entryVar equals tk.stringVar. And then on line 39, we say text variable equals at self.entryVar. In this function, you can see that we're using self.entryVar get. So getting things in and out of this control, get, retrieves it, set, sets it. The user pressed the enter key and there's no value there. We're just going to set focus back to that entry box. Else, I'm going to take that entry value and I am going to append that to the, our list. And then I'm going to update the entry list box. I'm going to clear the entry and I'm going to set focus back to the entry box. Now on that same screen, we can do cancel and that just clears the entry. And I'm going to show the add and cancel buttons. And you can see what that does right there. Just in case the update and delete button is visible, I'm going to hide it. I know that says remove, but I've told you what that means. Now, once we get to the, where I'm in edit mode, I can either do an update or a delete. And remember the code behind is that list. Now on the very top, we have selected index. Selected index tells me where the value is stored inside of the list. And once we get that, we can update that or we can remove it following these two commands. At the very bottom, we're going to update the entry list box. We're going to delete the entire list and then we're going to loop over the item list and then populate the list box. And there you have it team, the build list control. If you have any questions or comments related to this video, or any of the source code you have seen, please leave me a comment below. Take care.